January 6, fugitive who assaulted officers was captured by the FBI after returning home washing Ton, a Florida proud boy convicted of assaulting law enforcement officers with pepper gel spray was captured by the FBI on Thursday night after he went on the lam just ahead of his scheduled sentencing last month. Christopher Worrell was arrested when he attempted to covertly return to his home in Naples, Florida, the FBI's Tampa field office said in a statement. FBI agents quickly surrounded and then entered the residence. They discovered the 52-year-old unconscious and immediately provided medical attention, the statement said. Worrell remains at an area hospital, the FBI said. Night vision goggles, $4,000 in cash and survivalist gear were found inside Worrell's residence, according to the FBI, which thanked the Collier County Sheriff's Office for their assistance with the arrest. Time equals 400 Ms. Greater than Worrell had been convicted on seven counts at a bench trial before U.S. District Judge Royce Lamberth in May. Prosecutors were seeking a sentence of 14 years in federal prison, which would be among the longest sentences given to a January 6 defendant to date. The longest sentence so far was given to former Proud Boys chairman Enrique Tarrio, who received 22 years in federal prison. After being convicted of seditious conspiracy, Worrell, prosecutors wrote in their sentencing memo, arrived in Washington, D.C., on January 6, ready for battle, wearing body armor, and carrying pepper gel spray and a large radio, and then, spewed vitriol for half an hour at the overwhelmed officers restraining the mob, before assaulting officers. With pepper spray, when confronted with this conduct at trial, Worrell showed no remorse. Instead, though under oath, he spun falsehood after incredible falsehood in an effort to deflect responsibility and cast himself as a hero intervening to protect the police. He told these lies without shame, prosecutors wrote. Worrell's dishonesty on the stand was only one of many instances where he has apparently lied to benefit himself or to escape responsibility for his own misconduct. An attorney for Worrell did not immediately respond to a request for comment from NBC News.